Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today, we're looking into Solana after a key resistance rejection. Could the pullback be coming? Let's check out the charts. Okay, I got to get ready in my seat here because there's a lot going here in terms of Solana. So quickly taking a look, um, we are closing still above our 20 moving average. That suggests that we are still in a bullish trend. However, I do feel like this bullish trend is going to be very, very short term. So here are the things that I am seeing. Obviously, we see the rejection from our $179 at our peakets in the last couple of days here coming down and basically coming coming into a correction. We're seeing that pullback come down. Um, now, in the next couple of days or so, the actual test is going to be our support area here at $159. We can see, and we if we retrace back all the way back to May, we can see this area was a good cushion for an area of support until it broke down on June 7th. So we are going to be retesting it in the next couple of days. We already saw that selling pressure back here um, I think earlier today when this candle closed itself. Now in terms of the volume, obviously we can see that the volume itself has increased here. We're at 5.78 million. We can see that it has been more on the sell off side, but let's take a look at the RSI because it did show us some warning signs of being overbought. Now at this green candle here, hitting again at our resistance level of 179, we were at 72% of our RSI and already that that is a warning sign that it is a um, overbought signal and that's where we saw the pullback now as we are correcting into this that key support level you guys we got to watch out and make sure that we do hold at the 159 and retest that if not we're coming down to the 148 but here is the rsi cross below our signal line which is the yellow line itself and it is going to continuously go down until we see a market correction now we do see here it had a very nice um you know, recovery from that bearish mood at 44%, which again is not a good, it's a neutral zone until we can be able to see the volume come up around the 44% of our RSI, then we can potentially take a look at the charts and see if there is any other signals that we're going to see a nice reversal, um, especially again at the 159. So short term outlook, you guys, again, we got rejected, we're coming down into the 159 level, we are hoping hoping to get support from this area so long as we see some volume pick up in this key area and see some, you know, possibly some green candles or some candlestick formation that would be able to give us some hints where the price is going to go. But we do see that it is a heavy sell-off, especially when this candle itself does open up and we see that bottom with barely any wick at the very bottom. You guys know, once you see that, we are strongly going to go to the 159. Last little thing before I let you guys go is here, we see the 20 and the 50, depending on how big these gaps become in between is going to um, show us and signal us how big that momentum is when we're coming down um, in this pullback itself. So if we do see these two lines kind of coming over or going vastly getting wider, then it, we are going to see the price continuously and drastically drop. We already saw it here as these two lines were widening, but just for you guys um, to know on the daily chart itself. So that is it for me today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Good to see you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.